Hey, my name is Francesco Baldini. I, I'm working at the National Council of Research of Italy, uh, more precisely at the Institute of Applied Physics in Florence. And my background is physics, and uh, I'm working uh, since the 90s in the development of chemical and biochemical sensors for, with optical techniques. So we use optical fibers to enter the human body in order to have a continuous monitoring of something. And in particular, we devoted our attention in, on gastroesophageal apparatus, and we uh, design, develop, and characterize a sensor for uh, bile detection. Bile is generally secreted, is secreted by the liver and can come back to the stomach or to the esophagus, creating uh, damaging to the mucosa of the stomach or of the esophagus. So it's very important to have a continuous monitoring. And we use the optical approach. Uh, exploiting as a marker bilirubin, which, was, which is one of the pigments contained in the bile. This uh, idea was patented by CNR, and, the, the, now, and the, the exploitation of the patent was used by a small company in Italy uh, called Prodotech Now Cecchi, and the instrument is on the market. It was commercialized by Medtronic up to 2007, and now by an Italian company uh, called Ebineuro because Medtronic left the gastro market. Another area of applications, especially in the last 10 years, was the development of POCT, point of care testing devices, which is a very high requirement coming from physicians in order to have a device close to the bed of the patient capable to uh, provide them an immediate measurement of uh, biochemical uh, or chemical compounds which are related to determin determined pathologies. So uh, we studied a lot the problem of sepsis or severe inflammation, which can be a very critical intensive care unit because it is considered one of the highest cause of death in, for ICU patients. And in order to make the, the right diagnosis of sepsis, it is important to measure simultaneously more than one bionolite. And so we develop an optical platform based on fluorescence for the detection of uh, C-reactive protein, procalcitonin and neopterin, which are considered three of the most important biomarkers. Another field on which we are uh, active, so it's long because I, the group I'm uh, coordinating is quite larger, but not too much, but okay, it's 80 people, so it's okay, very interdisciplinary. Uh, it's uh, the development of nanosensors, which means uh, optical sensors uh, at uh, nanometric dimension, which can be uh, delivered inside the cells through suitable carriers in order to measure in real time inside the cells either metabolites or uh, also efficiency of drugs. In particular, we work on what, they are, what are called, uh, in terms of optics, molecular beacons, which are sequence of DNA, which are uh, uh, able to uh, recognize, uh, for example, uh, RNA messengers inside the cells, and they can bind to them due to hybridization, and it is possible to uh, uh, make this uh, uh, particular sequence uh, optically active in the sense that they, will, before uh, binding with their mRNA messengers, they are folded and they have at their extremities, for example, one uh, fluorophore and one quencher, which are so close that it, in the case of excitation, there is a transfer of energy without any emissions. But if this uh, molecule, this molecular uh, beacon binds the mRNA messenger, the, the structure opens, the two molecules are no more close and light appears. So it is possible to optically measure the interaction of this uh, molecular beacon, this is why it's called in this way, with uh, something inside the cells and DNA sequences or oligonucleotide sequences. Uh, um, combining a, an emission of light, and so that's a very important. So there are many other pathologies, clearly, where, where it's necessary to have a real uh, a measurement in real time uh, of a biomarker, of chemical marker, so glucose is the other one. Okay.
for example, for diabetic patients and so on. There is a long list on which we as researchers are trying to help physicians in providing the right tools 